In every sport, muscles work in pairs. One muscle will contract to create the movement and the other one of the pair will relax. This is called working antagonistically. For example, when you kick a ball in football, you pull the leg back into the preparation phase, contracting the hamstring and relaxing the quadriceps. The main muscle that moves the body is the agonist or prime mover. In the preparation phase, agonist is the hamstring. The second phase is the follow through. This is when you propel your leg forward to kick the ball. Here the quadriceps now contracts and the hamstring relaxes. Close skill. If we practice a rugby tackle with a person being tackled stood still and the tackle the same each time, the skill is considered to be closed. Because there is nothing that will affect how the same skill is performed. Open skill. If the person being tackled is moving, the type of tackle will vary and the tackler will have to adjust to the movement. This makes the skill open because something is affecting how the skill is performed. Example, the weather, or the people, or the players. Hi, in this part of the animation, we'll show you how you use your synovial joints in basketball. First, with the ball and socket joint, it can rotate round, it has little movement in all directions, you'll use this to raise the ball up. Then the hinge joint. It can only bend forwards and backwards. It has very little movement and this is when you'd extend the arm. Last but not least, you have the gliding joint, that which is in your hand. You use this to give a little flick at the end to shoot the ball in. So basically, if you use all them correctly, that would be the perfect shot. By being in defence, the main gliding joints are the wrist and the spine. They help you to block. One, two, three, four, five, Agility is being able to move direction quickly. This is a skill related fitness in dance. You will need agility when going from a high turn into a low crouch. Balance is being able to hold a body position for a period of time. You will need this in dance when holding a pose on one leg. Coordination is moving your arms and legs smoothly together. You need this in dance when performing a routine that involves your arms and legs. Power is the ability to produce an explosive movement that involves speed and strength. For example, we need power in the leg to enable us to jump in the air. Reaction is the ability to respond to something quickly, for example, when reacting to the sound of music. Timing is to be able to produce a movement at the right time. In dance, we use counts, for example, we use counts of eight.